Welcome to the wedding service of Thane and Jorlin. They are glad that you are here to celebrate with them. The marriage ceremony is about coming to God in front of friends with their commitment to each other. And so the ceremony starts with the opening of the word and a sentence of scripture. This is an acknowledgement that the Lord is the one who brought them here and will join their lives together. Please rise for the opening of the word. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Be seated, please.
Hear now the word of the Lord. From Jesus Christ's words in the Gospel of Matthew. If two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. From the creation story in Genesis. God created humankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. From Christ's teachings on marriage. He who made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. From one of the books of the teachings for the new church on married love. Marriage love in its essence is nothing else but the wish of two to be one, or in other words, a will on their part that their two lives may become one life. To carry out that will is the constant endeavor of this love, and all that it does flows from it. From God's promise in Ezekiel. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. From John's vision at the end of Revelation. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. From the prophecies of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread for the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Amen. Jorlin, Thane, by the right of betrothal, you have declared your love for each other. You are now coming before the Lord that your mutual consent to become husband and wife may be established in a holy marriage covenant to be witnessed by your loved ones gathered here. Will you, therefore, in the presence of the Lord, pledge your love and promise faithfulness each to the other, that from being two you may become one in affection and in thought, and in all things of life? I will. And will you now be united together in marriage as husband and wife, according to the laws of divine love? I will. Thane, will you have Jorlin for your wife? 
Will you love, honor, and comfort and cherish her that you may live together in the holy state of marriage according to the order of God? I will. Jorlin, will you have fame for your husband? Will you love, honor, comfort, and cherish him that you may live together in the holy state of marriage according to the order of God? May these rings be a sign and token of true marriage love. In giving and receiving these rings, I wed you. In giving and receiving these rings, I wed you. And take you to be my wife. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The bridegroom and husband of the church. The bridegroom and husband of the church. In giving and receiving these rings, I wed you. In giving and receiving these rings, I wed you. And take you to be my husband. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The bridegroom and husband of the church. Bridegroom and husband of the church. O oh Lord, bless the covenant now being sealed before you, and fill it with your mercy, with the blessings of your eternal path. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let not man put asunder. You may kiss. I invite you all to kneel and pray together. <clears throat> O Lord God, Jesus Christ, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the one God of heaven and earth, creator, sustainer, the source of life, of love, we now lower our heads and kneel to embody humility before you. We open our minds and hearts to accept your love and wisdom. We become keenly aware of the evil desires and false ideas that can interfere with the reception of true marriage love. We pray that these two, your children, now joined by a marriage covenant, will find continued support for their marriage by coming to you together for healing, guidance, and support. And so we pause and listen and we hear the music, the heavenly choirs of their song of true marriage love. Look down, O Lord, upon us and see and hear this prayer of our hearts and minds as we say together the prayer you taught us. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so upon the earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please rise. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. You may rise. Please be seated.
I'm hearing a new song. You know, this music that carries a message from heaven. I grasp only a few words at first, but I have an awareness that I will hear the words more clearly as the song goes on. And there's harmony. It begins very clear and simple. It will become more complex because it is growing and developing and perfecting. The music will strengthen. The melody will develop wonderful variations of an initial theme. Such will be your experience of married life. For the angels are singing the song of marriage provided by the Lord from the creation of the human soul. And while it is indeed an ancient song, it is also yours in particular. For your marriage is unique, even as it follows the pattern of marriage love the Lord has ordained. You will write your own version, even as the Lord writes the song of true marriage love in your hearts together. Now you both know the work involved in making music. You know how your unique spirit enters into the process, responding to love and wisdom flowing in from the Lord through heaven, finding expression in sounds. It is an awesome, amazing, organic, complex process. The song is both yours and the Lord's. It is of earth and heaven. And then as your individual songs of love welcome and entwine each other, you will together experience its source. Harmonious sound corresponds to states of joy and gladness in the spiritual world, springing from affections for what is good and true. You will feel the blessing that created the music. As marriage of love flows in and through you, combining your souls into a new creation, the song that is written will be both new and ancient. The language of love, like the language of music, reveals and creates a new being, an embodiment of the deepest, purest love available to the human soul. You are now invited to enter into the greatest joy, the creation of a new angel. You are to bring to the work all your love, wisdom, creativity, gifts, skills, energy, thought, and will. Every moment will be another measure of the song, adding variety, enhancing the theme, beautifying your life together, and the world around you. So now go in peace, together making your own new song of true marriage love. Amen.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.